rest of my bag. This bag was gifted to me, so I don't even know what it's called. I don't, I don't know any dimensions or anything like that, but this is a coach bag. It has three different departments. It also has two little side pockets. Unfortunately, I can't fit any of like my water bottles in these pockets. In this first one, I have these like honey pot coat wipes. These could be used on your body face and your little pocketbook. So I just have four to five stashed in this little pocket over here. These are really great for when you're out and about a restaurant or a bar or something and they don't have like good tissue. I typically just use those. And my other pocket over here, I have a couple of things actually. So I have this hand sanitizer by Love Beauty and Planet. I bought it at Target for like $3 and it's the lavender and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this other H word. But it smells so good. I have a bunch of hand sanitizer. My So Juicy ColourPop Plumping Lip Gloss. This has been my first time trying this and I love it so far. It's in the shade Cutie. Honestly, I never knew what the actual purpose of a plumping lip gloss was, but it makes your lips look bigger and fuller, I guess. I don't know. I really like it and it tastes good. And I also have my Body Shop Love & Plums Vegan Hand Cream. Listen, you can find me in the comments if you want to. But I promise y'all, these travel size body creams and hand creams from the body shop are way better. They are way better than the ones from Bath & Body Works. Come at me if you want, but I said what I said, okay? They're just so moisturizing. The ones that I had from Bath & Body Works would just dry up my skin. Like, dry up my skin so damn much. These are really moisturizing. It's a very soft fragrance. It isn't anything too strong for the 8 hour hydration. I stick by that okay because this stuff is the truth I keep all of these in this pocket um, just because I can easily get it out when I need to and this little compartment right here at first I have my wallet but then I realized like how dangerous that was because anybody can just open it and take it out so I have a bag of Skittles and um, this little alcohol swab that's it I might just put like some extra lip gloss in there or like a keychain or something maybe some pencils I do have a pencil and a pen that I use for my journal which I will show y'all in a minute but that's just what I have for right now or I can even put like I don't know like some extra jewelry right here like some earrings or something my bag is pretty heavy because I do have a couple of things in here you would think that I'm like going and spending the night somewhere with all the stuff that I have in here but it's for a very important purpose okay we can set up on my tripod this is the cubo tripod and i bought this off of amazon like i don't know i've had this for a couple of months now i personally love this compared to the very first tripod i had it was like some sort of a gorilla bending tripod it was great but it was cheap so it broke easily and this one is really great for my camera because i have the canon eos m50 with the zoom lens and my lens is really heavy so it's not able to like stick and stay on certain tripods not even in my car and i'm walking around and vlogging and stuff and i'm using this it's really great i hold it from like this point and on top of that it has this little knob where you can like switch and change the level of your camera and how like the different angles you want it to be so that's nice also this part right here where the camera like latches on to is so sturdy like it doesn't move anywhere i don't really know the purpose of this little moving bar yet but it has these buttons and you can just adjust it however you like also oh never mind i think i figured it out it depends on like what angle or how like sturdy you want these to be so i think that's what this bar like does when it changes it it has these little grip things so that when i am vlogging on like a slippery surface that it just won't like tip over i have my raggedy daggedy <laughs> ipad this is the let's see what percentage is at now is it dead bro I think it's dead that is insane so this is the ipad 6th generation i've had this for not even three years yet and i really need to get another one because it dies super fast and it takes a really long time for it to charge up but this is just the case that it comes in very minimalistic i bought the case off of amazon and i just keep this with me on the go because you never know I could be stranded somewhere and just want to watch like YouTube. My handy dandy notebook. I bought this journal from Target. It is two years old and I thought about replacing it because my pages a little bit are looking dingy but I don't want to. Just because I bought this notebook when I first started to like jot down my ideas for my YouTube channel and stuff. So it's very nostalgic. I don't want to throw it away. It just says like thoughts and ideas on the front. 
first I started using this for like notes and ideas for my channel and then it turned into like a law of attraction and manifestation journal so I have random pages where I'm just like writing down stuff for how I meditate different rituals for my nighttime routine and manifesting things for my life so it's an all-in-one journal I have it organized by sticky notes okay this was actually pretty cute when I was really serious about my productivity I had like mood trackers so this is from last year I got these like templates from Pinterest and I would trace over them I don't really do it anymore not as much as I used to but I just thought that these were cute so I have a bag of half finished chips lays because I keep a snack with me my wristlet here my best friend got me this and just like my car is my ID and my passport some more of these like honey pot coat wipes my vaccination card because I just got my booster I actually got my booster yesterday so I have all of the important self-identification cards in here but i have a bag of these like granola bites that i bought from trader joe's i honestly wish that they came in a bigger size because there are only about six or seven little granola balls in here that's that's not enough for a snack but or i guess it is you know when that time of the month hits i have a lola tampon here and the honey pot awakening cold penny spray for obvious reasons whether you're administrating or not i think this is a really great spray to just freshen up down there quickly after the gym or if you just had a long day you're on a go all of this holds so much in my second apartment is where it's really popping so i have a portable charger here my usb port for my iphone I keep this in for my iPhone and my iPad. This was gifted to me, so I don't know where it's from. But it's just a Polaroid uh, portable charger. I have like two side pockets where I keep a TSA lock so that when I do start traveling, I can take it and just put this around the loops of my zippers or even on my luggage and just wrap it up. I also have like two of these packs of Kleenex. If you saw my most recent vlog when I went to Target to go pick up some stuff, you already know that I have a tremendous amount of Kleenexes and freaking wipes. I also have another bag of Skittles open. I was looking for this. I'm gonna put this in the front with my other Skittles. I love Skittles. Let's just go through my wipes right quick. I have two packs of these disinfectant wipes. For obvious purposes, we are still living in the midst of a panorama going on two years. It'll be Miss Corona's like anniversary come February or March. I really wish these came in bigger sizes, but they don't. They only, only like 10 of them come in here. So I go through these within like a week or two. I have a couple of packs of these that I keep in there. And I also have two packs of these wet ones. These are hand wipes though. So there's one with a fresh scent and there's a fragrance free one just because if somebody else that I'm with needs one and they don't like really scented wipes, they can use the fragrance free one that I have. And it's also hypoallergenic. 20 packs or 20 wipes comes in each of these a lot of the times i do prefer to use wet wipes over hand sanitizer because as much as hand sanitizer that i use it just dries on my skin or it, like have my hands feeling really sticky and after a while just like putting on a bunch of hand sanitizer and then putting on lotion to cover up like my dryness it just becomes like so clumpy and it doesn't feel great so i use wipes i have some more tampons by lola so i have this brand up and up it's from target it is the flushable cleansing cloths they are plant-based and they also have 16 in this pack and the other one these are fragrance free cleansing wipes as well but 32 wipes comes in this one okay these you cannot flush down the toilet but these you can cleanses brushes moisturize like dab them and clean like underneath your arms or wherever else i used to keep like another spare deodorant in here but i don't need to do that just because my body has gone through the purging process of me transitioning from regular deodorants to natural deodorants so i want to say that is it that is the end of my what's my back video i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video